What's going on everybody? It's Warhawk and welcome to Nerf Talk. Got a video for you here because we have done some Nerf thrifting. Uh, it's been roughly about a month or so since our last thrifting video. And yes, the prices have gone up a little bit and the selection has gone down a little bit, but we were able to find some pretty cool blasters. So let me show you what I got. Now, once again, thank you very much to uh, Bots and Blasters for his video on thrifting and checking the, you know, the thrifting, the bags where they just kind of put a bunch of toys in the bags. So I always check those now and I found a few cool things. So the first thing I want to show you is this cool bag for $3.99. Um, and what's inside of it is the uh, Fortnite RL, but it is the Microshot yellow version. Now I have the other version that looks like the uh, big Fortnite RL uh, Microshot, but not the yellow version. So it's pretty cool to find that. And not only that, there's some pretty cool glasses in here. And then for $3.99, I found this uh, bag with the Microshot Spider-Man. Uh, blaster in it and I think this one which is an X shot uh, bug attack one even still I don't have the orange version of this I have the white and blue one just not this one so that's why I bought this one now this next blaster a very cool blaster and for a very cool deal uh, it's a rebel blaster I'm not really sure what it's called but it's a hammer prime and I got it for two dollars and ninety nine cents and the condition of it is really good. And I love Hammer Prime Blasters. And not only that, but the Rebel series have some pretty good Hammer Prime Blasters. And I thought for $3, had to pick it up. Now this next blaster, I don't actually have. So for $3.49, I picked up the Air Warriors uh, Ultra Tech Champion. <laughs> Pretty big name for a little blaster. Anyway, uh, for $3.49, it did come with its mag, and this thing actually performs pretty well. Um, it's in good condition, and it's another blaster I didn't have, so I had to pick this one up. Now this next find for $3.99 isn't a blaster. It's the actual hover target. Now I know it's supposed to have a little net in the back and it didn't have the balls with it, obviously, uh, thrifting store. But the thing about this is I don't have it. So I bought it more for the collector part of it. And you know what, eventually I will try it out. I know it works. I put batteries in it and it works fine. I figured for $3.99, why not? Now, this next blaster is my very first blaster from this series. It's a Nitro Blaster. Now, I bought this one for $4.99. Now, the thing about it is I know, okay, it's a, a, a thrifting price, $5 for this blaster in it, right? I know it's supposed to come with a mag too, and apparently it's supposed to come with a bolt so that you can prime it. Now, the good thing is I do have a couple of nitro cars that we have, can use. And luckily we have the Elite 2.0 Flip 16, which comes with a bolt. And guess what? It fits in this perfectly. So we were able to test this out and we have uh, used the cars in it. And you know what? These are gonna be pretty fun. So I'm gonna look for these a little bit more. Uh, just, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful on what I buy. But for our first one, pretty happy with it. So this next blaster, well, I don't know if you call it a blaster, it's actually a bow. Yes, it's the Rebel single shot bow and it was for $4.99. And yes, once again, a little bit pricey for a thrift store, but I don't have this bow and Rebel things are getting a little bit harder to find. So as soon as I see a Rebel, uh, anything that I don't own, I'm gonna grab it. And not only that too, but this little bow actually, it shoots pretty well. So for $4.99, I'm happy with it. So this next blaster, well, once again, not really sure if you can call it a blaster because it's more of a crossbow. 
It's the Adventure Force crossbow and I got it for $4.99. Now I have seen reviews on this blaster and I know it's not the greatest uh, out there, but the thing is I don't have it. So when I saw this for $4.99, I was thinking, you know what? That's a lot better than paying the full price for a lot of the stuff I'm not gonna need. All I need is this. So I have tested this out a little bit. It does work okay. Um, but of course, like in reviews, it does jam sometimes, but it actually doesn't fire too bad if it does fire. So for $4.99, it's pretty happy to pick this up. Now this next blaster is a rival blaster and I paid $5.99 for it, the rival Mercury. Now there are some mixed opinions on this blaster because it is a bolt action prime blaster. Now I actually don't mind this blaster at all because I like the color of it. The yellow and black looks really good together and the bolt action prime, to me it doesn't really bug me and when you get in the rhythm of actually getting used to this blaster, you actually can fire it pretty quick. So for $5.99, I am very happy to pick up another Mercury. Now this next blaster is pretty cool. Um, it has very mixed opinions on it. It's a Roblox blaster. It's the Pulse Laser. Now this is a motorized blaster and it does take batteries. Um, the thing about it is this one didn't come with its battery cover. It did come with this little uh, six start mag. Now the coolest thing about this blaster is it was only $1.99. I mean, for $1.99 and for getting a motorized road, Roblox blaster, why not? I don't care that it's missing its tray, that's fine. Um, as a collector standpoint, I have one that's just fine, good condition, but if something happens to it, got a backup for two bucks. <laughs> How do you go wrong? Now this next blaster was my favorite find of all of them for $5.99, the Adventure Force Super Drum. Now this of course, under the name of Adventure Force, uh, at the time is actually an X-Shot blaster because it's the Turbo Advance, right? But uh, thing is, I don't have this blaster. I don't have the Adventure Force version. I do have the X-Shot versions. And I actually really like this blaster a lot. The best thing I like about it is the colors on this blaster. It just looks so good. So for $5.99, I was not gonna walk by it and not grab it. So there we go, everybody. That was our thrifting finds over the last, uh, I'm gonna say about a month or so. Um, thing is, with thrifting, you just never know what you're gonna find, right? So sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. So let me know what you have found thrifting. Have you found anything really, really good for a super good deal? Leave it down in the comments. Make sure to leave that like, everybody. It definitely helps out our channel a lot. Uh, subscribe if you're checking us out for the first time, because that helps even more. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have fun with those blasters.